नेक्स्ट प्रिपरेशन मेथड ऑफ हेलो एरिन्स फ्रॉम डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट सो द क्वेश्चन अराइज वॉट इज डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट एंड हाउ इट इज प्रिपेयर इट इज प्रिपेयर बाय मेथड विच इज नोन एज डाइजोटाइजेशन सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन दिस केस सोडियम नाइट्राइट एन ए एन ओ टू डिजॉल्व इन डायल्यूट एस सी एल सो देयर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ नाइट्रस एसिड एच ओ एन ओ एंड रिमूवल ऑफ एन ए सी एल फर्दर दिस एच ओ एन ओ इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ एस सी एल एंड द टेम्परेचर ऑफ द रिएक्शन इज टू सेवेंटी थ्री टू टू सेवेंटी एट कैलविन विच इज जीरो डिग्री टू फाइव डिग्री सेंटीग्रेड टेम्परेचर रिएक्ट विद एनलीन सो देयर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट इज टेकिंग प्लेस सो दिस इज डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट एंड रिमूवल ऑफ टू एच टू ओ सो नेक्स्ट प्रिपरेशन मेथड इज प्रिपरेशन ऑफ हेलो एरेंज बाय यूजिंग दिस डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट सो फर्स्ट रिएक्शन विच वी विल बी गोइंग टू स्टडी इज सैंड मेयर्स रिएक्शन सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन दिस केस इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ डाइजोनियम सॉल्ट so in the case of sandmeier reaction this method is used for the preparation of both chlorobenzene and bromobenzene in this case cuprous chloride or cuprous bromide is dissolved in a specific reagent which is either hcl or hbr so in this case there will be preparation of both chloro and bromobenzene is done so in this case if we form chlorobenzene so this cuprous chloride is dissolved in hcl so there is a formation of chloro benzene is taking place and removal of n2 and removal of cl minus it means the chlorine of cuprous chloride will be introduced in this position to form chloro benzene similarly in the case of bromination we use cubr which is dissolved in hbr so there is a formation of bromo benzene is taking place removal of n2 and cl minus this reaction is known as sand meyers reaction similarly in the case of gatterman reaction this is another named reaction only the difference from sand meyer is that in the case of gatterman reaction when we take disonium salt in the case of gatterman reaction we use freshly prepared copper powder which is dissolved in hcl or hbr so in this case for the formation of chlorobenzene we dissolve copper powder in hcl so there is a removal of n2o similarly in the case of bromination copper powder in the presence of hbr so there is a formation of bromo benzene and removal of n2 so this is the difference between sand meyers and gatterman reaction the yield of sand meyers reaction is more in comparison to gatterman reaction we can also prepare iodo benzene from disonium salt by simply warming aqueous ki that is potassium iodide so what is happening in this case this is disonium salt in the presence of aqueous ki when heated there is a formation of iodo benzene is taking place and removal of kcl and n2 for the preparation of fluorobenzene we perform disotization in the presence of another acid which is fluoroboric acid so what is happening in this case we react aniline this is disotization reaction in the presence of nano2 but in this case hcl is not used in this case we use fluoroboric acid so which is hbf4 this is fluoroboric acid in the presence of temperature of the reaction is 273 to 278 kelvin which is similar as we have studied earlier in the case of disotization in the presence of hcl so there is a formation of 
सो देयर इज अ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बेंजीन डाइजोनियम टेट्राफ्लोरो बोरेट सो वेन दिस कंपाउंड इज हीटेड सो देयर विल बी फॉर्मेशन ऑफ फ्लोरो बेंजीन विल टेक प्लेस एंड रिमूवल ऑफ एन टू द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ बी एफ थ्री सो दिस रिएक्शन इज यूज फॉर द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ फ्लोरो बेंजीन एंड दिस रिएक्शन इज नेम रिएक्शन इट इज नोन एज बाल्स स्कीम इन रिएक्शन नेक्स्ट प्रिपरेशन मेथड ऑफ हेलो एरिन बाई यूजिंग सिल्वर सॉल्ट ऑफ एरोमेटिक एसिड दिस इज नोन एज हुंड्स डिकर रिएक्शन दिस रिएक्शन इज ऑल्सो यूज इन द प्रिपरेशन ऑफ हेलो एल्केस सो वॉट इज हैपनिंग इन दिस केस वी टेक सिल्वर बेंजोएट दिस इज सिल्वर बेंजोएट वी रिएक्ट सिल्वर बेंजोएट इन द प्रेजेंस ऑफ बी आर टू and non polar solvent that is ccl4 so there is a formation of bromo benzene is taking place and removal of ag br and co2 so this reaction is known as hunds dicker reaction and hunds dicker reaction is mainly occur in the presence of bromine whereas in the case of chlorine the yield of the reaction is less and in the case of iodine the product which will be formed is different next preparation method is a commercial preparation of chlorobenzene in this case the mixture of vapor of benzene with hcl and air is passed over heated cupric chloride so there is a formation of chlorobenzene is taking place so what is happening in this case benzene vapor of benzene with hcl in presence of air passed over heated cupric chloride so there is a formation of chloro benzene is taking place and removal of h2o you have to balance the reaction in this case two moles of benzene are taken two moles of hcl so there will be formation of two moles of chloro benzene and two moles of h2o this is a commercial preparation method for the preparation of chloro benzene this reaction is known as rashing process